Hey guys, me, Terry's Hype here on the Metal Second Channel, and welcome back to How Hard Can It Be to Beat a Race Car? And yes, you are seeing this right. This time, we are going to take the Cadillac. Why? Because I've never actually upgraded this thing to its maximum potential, so I thought, not tuning. Why not? Hey, why not? First things first, go into the engines. Um. I don't know which one actually gets. Oh my god, it might be the V8 racing actually. Um, the V10 gets about a thousand, I know that, so I think the V8 does as well. We'll stick the V8 in, we'll get some upgrades on it, and then see how that goes. And we'll just keep the V8 in it. We'll keep we're keeping the stock drive train. That oh, it's front wheel drive. Oh no, I have to give the, uh, that's terrible. Let's get some air on it then. Um, yeah, we just took the V8 in it though. Um, do we have a wing? Yes, we have a big wing. Um, oh, my controller has died. Rest in peace, controller. Could you? There we go. Now we're back again. Race tire compound by 10k. Um, maximum tire. Oh, it's only 285 on the front. I'm gonna be able to do with all the power. Oh god, this is gonna go terribly. Um. Yep, just get all the race upgrades on here because we need to max the car out like we do with every car on this series except from the first car. Now, if I'm being honest, I probably won't do as well as anything. It's probably going to be terrible. Um, but I know we will have to do with Ovester. <laughs> That's one thing we've got going for us. We don't have to do with Ovester. Oh, it takes so long to go through these menus. Wait, where did you put the basket system? Forza, I forgot what game I was playing there. Put a roll cage in as well to reduce, uh, to increase chassis. We can get a thousand pounds. Oh my god, it weighs a lot. Um, I can take the restrictions off it, giving us 994 brake horsepower, weighing just about, just about 4,500 pounds, and only on 285s. Oh no! But we're gonna take the Cadillac limo. Fire laps around the jello circuit and see how it does. I'll see you guys there. So we are here at the full circuit of Magello. Let's get into it. Now I'm being honest, we don't expect this to beat the Zack Speed Capri. It is a limo, it is front wheel drive, and it has near enough a thousand horsepower. It sounds good though. Um We've had two V8s running this up to now. I can't remember. I think the first one was also the V8 racing. Oh my god, it just spins its tyres. <laughs> I've not even changed the gear ratios either, so this could be terrible. Oh, the brakes are... I mean, they're alright, but I mean, we weren't going as fast because we were just spinning the wheels for about two years. Oh god, it just... Oh, it's terrible. Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh, we're asking a lot of these front tyres. Just because uh, you're asking the front tyres to put 1,000 horsepower down to the road, get traction, and turn us around a corner all at the same time. Any amount of throttle just spins the wheels up. Oh God. Um, it's going to be an experience. I just need to change some of my assists. Um, simulation. We're going to put back down there. Not friction assist. What the hell? No. Rewind needs to go off. And uh, friction assist off. There we go. Um. But yeah. Oh. Maybe second gear will be a better gear for the car because we're getting quite a bit of speed from it. Oh. Like we're not too low down down in the revs for it to um not have enough power. But we're not spinning the wheels up as much so. You know, this thing feels really fast, I'm not even going to like it, feels so fast. And I feel like I'm sat up so high. Um, I wonder what Mr. President would be like in this limo. <laughs> like, <laughs> racing around the jello circuit. Oh, no. Nah, it's going to be a lot of off-track explorations, I'm being honest with this thing. It's uh, kind of terrifying in a sense. But, um, the brakes aren't very good either, just found that out. Um, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Now, wh where do I predict this on our first lap to go? Um, 
I mean, this is from a sand cell, so I'm going to guess around 2 minutes 10. Um, maybe more, about 2, uh, maybe like 2.20 or something, I don't, I really don't know. Uh, what do you think is going to come on the flying laps? Probably around 2.10. Um, I'm hoping, I hope and pray that it can beat the Bender Speed 6, but that's just not going to happen. So our fastest lap is like a 2 minutes 20. Oh Jesus, this thing's fast though. It's not as fast as the Bentley which is getting up to like 200 miles an hour coming onto this coming up to this corner here. But it's it is very fast. I it doesn't it feels more controllable than the HSV did. So oh. So like I can't I don't know it's not that bad to drive as such. It's just like you, you know what's going to happen with it, and still, it happens a lot more than you expect. And I've just been the reason trying to turn at the same time, it just kind of straightens the car up, and then you're just going forward, and it's all terrible, and then the understeer is over 5,000. Um, oh, come on! Get back up to the track. Turn. Turn. I, I thought this thing would, I don't know why, but I couldn't, I thought this thing was like all wheel drive, all wheel drive, and I think it was front wheel drive. I didn't really check that, I was just there like, let's take a silly thing around here. Um, and, then, and, then, and then when I was building it, I was like, oh, balls, it's front wheel drive. That means t this is the first front wheel drive car we've taken on the circuit. We took a rear wheel drive car in the form of HSV. We took the Bentley, which was four wheel drive, and then also, we are now taking the limo, which um, is front wheel drive. So you know, it's not. It's good. There'll probably be more front wheel drive cars in the future. Maybe. Because um, we could actually, now, I was going to say we could like, take that Peugeot our own car, but I think that would be too fast. Um, so yeah. I was also thinking, I want to take the racing truck around here. Oh my god, the understeer is unbearable. Come on, power! <laughs> I did definitely put the diff in it, didn't I? Better of. So where are we going to come on our first flying lap? Oh god, it's like a 2.13 nearly. Jesus. It's not exactly what you call fast, either. Oh, bloody hell, the brakes are even worse. There's some off-track exploration. Oh my god, it's literally spinning this wheels up. It's... Oh, it's... Turn, please, turn, please, turn. Yeah, now I'm pushing the car too hard, trying to find its limits, and... It's just... Yeah, this lap's terrible. Oh. Like, the thing is, I, I, I also forget how long this car is. And it's, you don't even have to think about it, you just, the issue with, that I'm focusing on at the minute is just the unbearable amounts of understeer. We've got like 285s on the front. If we had like 305s or like 315s, I think it would be a, I think it would probably be a lot better. Um, well, obviously it would be a lot better. It could deal with the traction more. So let's say like a muscle car has like 285s on the front and like 345s on the rear. If this was the opposite of a muscle car, 345s on the front, 285s in the rear, I think we'd struggle more from just the rear end having a lack of traction than anything else. But if we just had a tad bit bigger tyres, this thing could actually be really good. But, you know, Forza limits us. Because um, otherwise, if I could, I'd have like 425s and everything. I think that's the biggest tyre I've ever seen in Forza. Um, I can't remember what car it was on. I don't know, I think it was on Forza 6. It was like 4, it was like four or 5 or 4 two fives. They're huge tyres though. Um, anyway, coming up to the end of this lap as well. I'm going to see what we get in, well, soon hopefully. <laughs> Spinning the wheels. And then second it doesn't spin its wheels, which is all good. So let's see, at the end of this lap, what is our fastest lap time. Our fastest lap time at the minute is a 2.12.8, nearly 2.13. I mean, 
you kind of expect it to be honest. <laughs> so we got a 215 up to 212 up to now, nearly a 213, but maybe in my challenge is trying to get it under a 210. So try and find three seconds over the space of a lap. Um, that might be a good challenge to go for, but do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. This car just doesn't have the traction for it. Maybe if you try and keep it neat and tidy, limit the amount of wheel spin. Um, come on, there we go. Look at that. No wheel spin out of that corner. It feels so much slower though. Come on, keep it neat, keep it tidy, keep the wheel spin to a minimum. Oh, it can feel it spinning up its wheels a tiny bit, but everything does come out of a corner. Oh, no, I'm too late on the brakes there, but it's okay. This thing doesn't have the best brakes here, but then you've got to remember as well, it has got a lot of weight to stop. It is a mu it's got like bloody, like with the Bentley, this is like double the size of the Bentley. So imagine the Bentley times two. And um, that's what you get for this car. Oh god. And oh, there's a lock up. That's terrible. This lap gone as well, probably. Come on, turn, turn, turn. And on the power in second gear. We'll keep it in second gear from now on because first gear just spins the wheels up unless I can. Uh, I don't know what I Kind of like it too, because I can get it out of the corners without wheel spin in first gear. That's not the problem. It's just, um. Oh, that was terrible. Jesus. Ugh. Got. So that was the final lap, basically. And I don't think I can go any faster. Which is kind of sad. I kind of. Obviously, we was hoping for this thing to beat the race car, but in our heads, we knew it just wasn't going to happen. <laughs> and so, you know, what's that lap time? A two twelve, and that's our fastest lap up to now. That's pretty good. I wonder what top speed this thing's going to get. Uh, come on, break, 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 break. Come on, pull up a time. No, we're off track again. I mean, at least they're all dirty laps, so it actually updates the leaderboard, the, the time board at the end. Oh, come on. Come on, man. I've so close. I've got one more lap to do. This thing is horrible to drive. <laughs> do, 10 out of 10, do not recommend it unless you're going to make it all wheel drive. Because Ray Wheel Drive would probably spin its tyres up like a madman. Oh. Come on. Turn the corner. About half the. Tr I don't know. Got a bit to go the track. If we could just push it a tiny bit more. Like I said, if this thing had more power, we would be literally. Um, not more power. Oh god, definitely not more power. If this thing had more tire width, um, then it would be so much better. Maybe if we had super soft tyres, maybe that would help it, help it a bit. But I think the rear tyres would get so cold because they're not pa like power or anything, and they're just following along that um, they would probably lose traction overall, and therefore make it really slidey. So I don't know. I think the introduction of super soft would be interesting to Forza. I just like soft and super soft slick tyres. Oh no! The car, the tracks are going so well, but that is literally uh, losing at the last second. Balls. That's no good. Um, but anyway, coming up, fine. It's so slow around this final car. You're trying to put power down, but just can't. And we're not. Oh god, we're not going to go faster. Um, probably unless we can get to here in two seconds. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't that much. Uh, worse but we're lap time of 212 dead that puts it into last place by a good eight seconds but anyway we're gonna tune this thing for top speed and see how it does at Le Mans so we are here at Le Mans guys with one lap of the race circuit 
I mean, that's unnecessary. We go, we're going down the race like I've tuned this car, and um, it's not really changed much. Um, I have a, a top speed of approximately 216 miles an hour, and yeah, uh, let's see how we can do. Um, but before I do that, I'll just need to do something I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that guys, just had some stuff to deal with. But 260 miles an hour is the approximate top speed of this vehicle. Which means if it, can, if it actually is that, then I can beat the race car in one thing. Um, which pretty much every car in the series is going to do. Um, but I will not beat any of the other cars we built for this series. So you know, let's see how um it can do, how controllable it is. Um, but I think this thing's probably error limited. Oh, probably just weighs a bit too much. But the, it's going quicker. So, oh god, the understeer. Oh, bloody hell. So let's see how it does. Oh, okay. There's, they're like this, uh, the slow sp strips from GTA. Um, anyway. <laughs> let's see how it does. 140 in fourth gear. 150. Do, when I was shooting this thing, if you actually shorten the gears, it got faster. Like the gear ratios I had were only like 190, and as I I shortened the gears instead of extending them because they were as long as possible at the start, as I shortened them, it got much faster. But anyway, there is 200 miles an hour in a Cadillac limo, and 205. Can we get any quicker? 208, 29, 209, 210. This is incredibly slow. We have beat the card, uh, the Ford Tax Speed Capri, but I don't think we're going to get the 226 that the um, HSV did. 213. Come on. Come on to the corner now. This is going to be. Oh, it actually didn't lose that much speed. Come on. 210 to 11. Uh, 213 is my highest speed, I'm pretty sure, up to now. 212. Can we get anything? No, we cannot. Oh, we have launched the limo. <laughs> Oh, so 213 is the top speed that I achieved in the Cadillac limo, which was to enter third place, just beating the HSV. I mean, just beating the Ford Tax Speed Capri, but not on not beating the HSV. And anyway, if you've liked this video, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe. These videos are out twice a week. Not sure what days I'm going to put them out in yet, but sure they'll be out twice a week. Anyway, uh, comment down below what I want to see next, and I'll be sure to check out. Anyway, that's it from me, Terry's Hyper, signing out.